Come on, let's go! Suck on that, pigs! Nothing amps me up like a good heist. Electricity jokes? Really? Do you have a single professional bone in your entire body? Uh, no. No, I don't. No, because I don't have bones anymore. I'm pure... Energy. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, take that tone, you walking sandbox. Can we just have one heist? Without bickering, please? What should we do then? Put on the radio? Fine. But I'm picking the station this time. You're listening to All Things Considered here on NPR. NPR. I'm your host, Matt Lang. For Today's really? guest is the renowned economist and Harvard professor, Dr. Jonathan Fixer. Dr. Fixer, welcome to the program. I'm glad to be here, Matt. Dr. Fixer, your new book, Channeled Aggression, The Free Market Solution to Metavillain Crime. It's been the subject of no small debate. Some have called it metavillain appeasement. What would, you call <laughs> what would you call it? Well, I would call it the roadmap to ending super criminals. Good luck with that. By showing them how to make hundreds of millions of dollars legally each year. Wait, what? what? That's quite a claim. How would they go about doing that? Well, you have to consider other applications of their abilities. Take Voltage, for example. He can generate enough bioelectricity to run a city. Completely clean. Why, this year, New York City's energy budget for both state and municipal of facilities alone is $770 million. And why hold City Hall for ransom when you can make bank just keeping their lights on? Exactly. Are you kidding me? Or take Sandstorm. He's near invulnerable. Can't absorb sand for power. Uh, so what, just pay him to crush terrorist groups? Something like that. And it's certainly not like desert warfare is going out of style. <laughs> Those two usually work in a team with Reaver. What about him? The super soldier? I don't know. My work tends to focus more on actual threats. So the solution isn't confinement. It's appealing to their own self-interest? Yes, exactly. Well, that is certainly something to mull over. Thank you for your time, Dr. Fixer. Well, thank you for having me, Matt. Stay tuned to NPR. I've wasted my life. <laughs> Not a real threat. <laughs> What's the wrong? What? Get out of the car now! <laughs> Son of a... <laughs>